Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be testing my Ender3's maximum speed and acceleration by following LSS print tuning guide. Keep in mind that running the printer with maximum limits can impact your printer and technically it's not convenient to do for daily printing. But it is good to know your printer limits. Alice has described in detail in his guide. I would also recommend you all to go through his guide to un understand in detail. Link in the description. In this test, I need to find at which speed and acceleration I'll get skipping. For that, I have to observe and watch two things. First, I have to listen motor grinding noise and second, comparing the numbers of X and Y steppers for the first homing before the test and second homing which is done after the test. Before we start, we have to increase our limits in the printer.cfg file. So now I will navigate to the printer, go to the, since I am using mainsail, this is mainsail interface, I go to machine and then open the printer.cfg file. Once you open, look for the section printer and in that we have to increase max velocity and max acceleration. I have set to 1000 as velocity and acceleration as 15000. Save and restart. Once your printer is ready, next we have to install the macro. Go to the print tuning guide, click on the method, select the macro type based on your printer. Your, if your printer is core XY or a belt slinger, you need to use this macro or if it's delta, you need to use this macro. Since mine is ender 3, I will follow this macro. So click on it and you will get this page. So here it says test speed and test speed delta. So I'll be using the test speed. So click on the copy button which is next to the row. Once you click this, this code will be copied. Go back to your printer configuration. Create a file called macros. I have already done this. Macros and paste the macro in this file which I have done over here. Once this is done, make sure to include the macro CFG file in the printer CFG right over here. Once this is done, save and restart. Now we are ready to do the test. So we'll navigate to the console and then execute the testing command. So first we will test for the acceleration as mentioned in the documentation guide here. Tune maximum acceler acceleration first, then tune speed second. So we'll execute this command where it says acceleration is 5000, iteration 2. If we pass this, then we go and execute the next command by increasing the iteration. If we have any skipping or if the numbers are not within the limit, we need to decrease the acceleration. But if not, then we can increase the iteration. If this succeeds, then we can increase the acceleration with another iteration of 2. And likewise, we can go and further keep on increasing and then find out what is the max acceleration required? So let's get started. So we we'll copy this, go to my printer interface, the console, and execute this command.
so as you can see now the first test is done so these are the homing before the test and this after the test so the numbers what we need to look here is stepper x 128 and 126 here it is 640 and 639 the difference of this should not be more than your micro stepping which will be set in your printer cfg file but i have set it under under this configuration file which is 16 micro steps so for my x and y i have set to 16 micro steps so if you go back to the console the difference between this and this should not be more than 16 same goes for y so the difference should not be more than 16 if it is then skipping has occurred and we have to decrease the acceleration so with this test i don't see any difference so i will proceed increasing the acceleration rather than uh, iteration so i will set the acceleration to 8000 and start a second test now you must hear the motor grinding noise the second test is complete now if you compare the difference for the x step we have 107 and it was 125 before for the y we have 385 and it was 640 so the difference is quite big so we can't go with this acceleration so we have to decrease the acceleration so i will decrease the acceleration to one by 1000 so let's set it to seven with two iteration we'll start the third test The last test what we did with 7000 acceleration I didn't hear any grinding noise neither there is a big difference in this so we'll proceed by increasing the iteration to 50 so the acceleration is set to 7000 and number of uh, iteration is set to 50 let's start So the last test is complete and in this step we see that we have missed some steps there is a big difference in the y-axis and I also did hear a grinding noise so I need to reduce the acceleration because at 50 iteration I hear some grinding noise and the steps are missed so I need to reduce this acceleration to let's say 6500 since 7000 has already passed with iteration 2 i will directly go with iteration 50 for acceleration 6500 
as you can see the last test is complete with 6500 acceleration and iteration set to 50. I don't see any uh, major difference in the steps. X is 124 before and after. Y is 145 and 146. So it's not a big deal. So we can say that acceleration we can set to 6500 and proceed with speed test. So let's set acceleration to 6500 in the printer CFG file. Max acceleration 6500 and speed we'll set to we'll keep it as 1000 as of now save and restart we'll go back to the console and now we'll proceed with speed test so for speed test it's called a speed which is here so we'll copy this go to the console and execute with let's say 800 in two iteration so we'll start now The last test is complete with acceleration set to 6500 and speed 800, iteration 2. So now we will proceed with iteration 50 as I don't see any difference in the steps. Neither I heard any grinding noise. So we can proceed with 50 iteration. So the last test is also successful. I did not hear any grinding noise and the difference is also, is also uh, not that big. So it's very less. So I guess that uh, this tuning, what I have done now, I will save it in the printer.cfg file. So speed is at 800. So I've set it to 1000, I'll reduce the 2 to 800. Like I said before, we we cannot run at the max speed on a, in our daily prints. So I will always keep this at a lower than the max limit. So I will set this to 600 and max acceleration to 6000. So with this, I will restart now, go back to the dashboard and I should see the same value reflected here. So yes, that's it. Thank you guys. Do let me know in the comments if such videos are helpful.